90s babies can rejoice. The Gretna time machine has just transported us to the early days of Nickelodeon. Do you remember? The network of slime, wacky antics, and iconic shows. Do you remember Double Dare? Mark Summers, the maestro of this classic game show, has created a one-man show chronicling his life's journey and entered the theater to share it with the masses. I cannot take credit for that. Our producing artistic director, Michael Philip O'Brien, um, had the director, who's a friend of his, Chad, pitch the show to him. And Michael was like, you know, as a child who grew up with Mark Summers, how do you say no? <laughs> it's about my life. Every bit of it is true. And I talk about uh, my passion for television and wanting to be a host of television, but uh, not having uh, you know, the ability of living in Indiana to get to the people that you needed to get to. And it's about, you know, how passionate are you and how uh, hard are you willing to work to get from point A to point B. And uh, there are obstacles along the way. I, uh, I got cancer, I was in a car accident where I broke every bone in my face. And the whole point of this is the fact that you see people on TV or in a movie and you go, wow, they're the luckiest people in the world. But what you don't realize is what they went through to get to that point, you know? So we are the America's oldest running outdoor summer stock theater. Um, the theater was built in 1927 um, and we have been producing here for almost 100 years. We're coming up on our 100th anniversary in four years. It was 13 years from the day I landed until I landed my first national job. So what jobs do you do in between time? And I was lucky enough to never take a job outside of television. I never was a waiter and I never worked in Macy's. Nothing wrong with that. I just chose not to go that direction. And so I was a professional magician out of college and I worked at a place called the Magic Castle. I became a regular at the comedy store. And so uh, I started warming up TV shows. And I always found a way to make a living uh, doing whatever my passion was. And I guess I didn't believe in the word no. When somebody told me it's not going to happen, or I'm sorry, you're not going to get it, I just went, okay, fine. You're going to get fired in a few, a few weeks, then I'll, I'll, you know, meet somebody else. So I just kept pushing forward. I think a credit to the people who come to Gretna Theater because they see the kind of work that we're producing, um, that we're trying to make theater as accessible to everyone, um, and that our donors see that and appreciate it and want to keep us going to hit that 100-year mark. So um, we are very blessed with our donor base and the people who support us. I keep trying to retire, but I'm not good at it. Uh, I'll, I'll be 72 in November. And um, the fact that I'm here doing a one-man show on stage for 90 minutes by myself um, is crazy. And then from here we go to Buffalo and there's other things down the road. So um, I guess I'm still passionate enough to do it. I'm not doing it as much as I used to. I get tired a lot quicker. We did two shows yesterday and I felt really good until about 3 o'clock today and I went, Oh man, am I tired, I gotta do one tonight, do one <laughs> and one tomorrow, one the next day. So uh, I try to stay in shape, I walk five, six miles a day, all that stuff, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy.